today is the day. Welcome. Woot woot. My shacket gives no indication <laughs> whatsoever as to what the colors are today. Your shacket is not a hint. It is not, but it did match my smoothie. And I took a selfie on the way to work today because I was so excited about the matching shacket to smoothie situation. It's always a good day when your shacket matches your smoothie. That word uh, shacket makes me laugh so hard. We're calling the shacket police. Mary on. Ellen downloaded the new color wheel already. <gasps> Mary Randall Ellen. put it in there a little earlier than I would have liked him to, so I'm going to have to have a word with him when we're finished. I love that you're on it, Mary Ellen. Good job. Um, so you got sneaky peek then. Yeah, I, I'm just going right Let's in there because in. some of our friends have already downloaded the new color wheel. So here is the current or uh, previous spa color wheel. We have some holes going on around here. Uh, these lovely colors need friends so if you uh you you may already know this but let's just talk a little bit of explanation here let's talk let's a talk a little explanation of explanation hi okay. ryan <clears throat> so we put this color wheel together as a reference tool for our stamping friends because we know that uh putting color combinations together for card making can be a challenge sometimes i know it is for me i use this tool all the time and if you are uh, not new around here, you know that I use it all the time, religiously, it is a staple. So the way we arrange this, uh, the, a color wheel is not a concept that is new, but we put our colors into the color wheel. So yeah. our reds for our spa inks, so this, this is the muted, grayed down color palette. All of our reds are listed here from dark to light, so Merlot, Peppermint Scrub, Rouge, Rose Petals, Pink Champagne, and then you go over one, and these are our red-orange colors, our oranges, our orange-yellows, our yellows, and so on, all the way around the wheel. And then to use the wheel, and if that's you want, your, this, just the spot <clears throat> collection colors. Just spot. The yep. party collection are the vibrant, very highly saturated colors, and they have their own wheel, because they were not formulated to go together necessarily, though you can use them together, but they weren't created with that in mind. Okay, so if you wanna do complimentary, um, you just use your wheel to look and go straight across. Green for, with spruce and sage are those complimentary colors. If you want to do um, analogous colors, it's just the colors that are right next to each other on the wheel. A triad is a little triangle, so maybe you're starting with stone blue and then you know then you're going to come here you're going to pick a red and then you're going to come here and you're going to pick a yellow on the spa wheel currently there is only one yellow choice if you're wondering if that is going to stay forever i'm going to give you a good guess you can guess you can guess if we're only going to have one, one yellow, yellow ever okay <laughs> so uh, okay, so Seafoam Sea Glass Bay Breeze are green. I mean, and they are delicious. They are gorgeous. I think they need a friend. Green so, blues are probably my favorite category of ink. Well, words we, are coming. We love <laughs> turquoise, I, yes. teal, and aqua so yes. much that we had to separate this into green blues and blue greens. So these are all your teals, your aquas, your turquoises, but these colors lean more green and these lean more blue. So Christine, the new updated color wheel has a, a second sheet with the uh, this mm -hmm. spinner guy. So when you print it out, you'll get one of these, one of these, and two of those, and then you can just cut them and do mm -hmm. them. And it's a PDF, so if you print it out at 100%, everything will fit together. So she's asking the size mm -hmm. of this piece, but if you print it out at 100%, everything will fit It'll together. Work. Yes. <clears throat> okay, so let's just let's just rip off the Band-Aid. Okay, so winter green, da da da. So we have a beautiful light green blue now in the green blue line. So light to dark. And yesterday when I got my nails done, I wanted them to be winter green, but that was, not, a, that was not an option. But I'm in this family. You are. This is the muted green blue. <laughs> yes, you are. 
somewhere probably between here. <laughs> All right, then let's move over to the red oranges. We have polished in clay mask and since releasing clay mask. I've heard from tons of you stamper oh, friends you that are loving some clay mask. you guys are loving mm -hmm. clay mask. Mm -hmm. Well, let's up the clay mask game with terracotta. Da, da, da. So terracotta oh. is just now our darkest red orange. So terracotta is kind of like, and I'm going to stamp these out and swipe them and everything. It's almost like a, the Samba of the spa family. Except it's a little darker. Mm -hmm. It's like a bricky color. Well, terracotta y, yeah. and it yeah, is it yum. Is Wait gorgeous. till you see these yep. guys in action. Okay. Just keep in mind, we, we do our best in color matching these top stickers, but there is slight variance between mm -hmm. the process of creating a sticker and the actual ink. So we'll show you them in action here. Okay, so then let's move to our oranges. Orange peel is one of my favorites. I think orange peel is just perfect color and so now we're gonna have another perfect color to go with the orange peel and it is called apricot mm -hmm. and this is a personal favorite of mine wait till I stamp it and swipe it you're gonna be blown away they're it's saying they gorgeous. see your terracotta nails yeah that again that was the best we could do yep and it looks very real nice okay <laughs> and you then guys. we have one more oh good questions so if you're just joining in this is the pre reveal of the new four ink colors they will hit our shop next wednesday yep. uh april the 6th okay let me show the last color yes. and then when i'm saying that again you can go through all of the details and answer yes. questions so the last color da, 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 is ginger so this is now our darkest orange so let's pull out this is the new color wheel i'm just going to pop a little hole right in the center there I'm gonna take off my old center. So if you have your prior, you just take the center out, discard that, and update it with the new. Uh, you could also, because... What's that? Upfront and honest. Oh, okay. Prepare, we, we, we're gonna prepare you. Oh yes. There are four more colors coming this summer to round out the Apothecary inks. Yes. Oh, we didn't say that part. I know. <laughs> da, da, da. Da, 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 da. This, these are the first four colors in our apothecary ink collection. So, and they are simply this. delicious. Okay, here we go. Apothecary. So there they are. So there are four now, and then there will be four more this summer. So you can print out your new um, now if you want, or you can just, you know, write in on your current um, color wheel, the new colors if you want, if you don't want to mess with printing it again, but there will be four more this summer. So just keep that in mind. All right, let's start stamping and swiping. I think yes. I need to take, take off the jacket, jacket because yes. it's going to get in my way. And I'm going to address a couple questions. Absolutely. Okay. If you've been hanging out with us for a while, we do create eight colors in a family. Um, we are bringing these four, four, these first four out of the apothecary family. That is part of our spa collection. They will hit our shop next Wednesday, April 6th. Uh, the four new colors uh, Catherine just showed are terracotta, apricot, ginger, and wintergreen. We're going to swatch them out and take a look at them. So that's exciting. And these colors are just really, really beautiful. These are spa, so they have a muted undertone. They're going to work right in with your other spa colors. Yes, 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 I think I covered it all. And yes, yes, yes. Awesome, okay, I just wanted to make sure we're all on the same page now. Let's see these colors in action. I think my polish needs a little re -inking. Your abundantly blessed stamp set is missing a simply because I just found it under the die cutting machine. Oh, that is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> so if we want to stamp simply today, we can. Okay. <laughs> so there they are together. That is terracotta, polish, and clay mask. Oh, let me do that. Okay. And then let's do a little ink swiping. Um, I need, well, I can use the back of this because I don't need this anymore. Oh. A little swiping so clay mask polish oh and whoops oops oh terracotta oh 
yum guys so that is a monochromatic color scheme right there look at those warm earthy rich colors those yes. do my heart real happy okay and the little stamp you have she just pulled this out of the bold bits and patterns stamp set it's just a little bean little, a little rock. bean little rock. yep guy bold bits and patterns little guy okay next up let's see <clears throat> these guys ginger oh so pretty mandarin oh let's see yep mandarin spice Orange peel. Mm. Mm -mm. I love these colors. And you ready? Apricot. Ugh. And that has some dry back. It's gonna dry a little lighter. So we'll we'll come back and sneaky peek at it in a little bit when it's completely dry. But they're so pretty. Let me swipe these. Um, a lot of feet, folks saying these are gonna be gorgeous for fall vibe oh, cards. Yeah. Definitely will. You need these shades for when you're doing leaf stamps for sure. I also just think really gorgeous for florals. Um, who doesn't love a gorgeous orange lily or, mm. you know, um, and again, very earthy colors. So anytime you're doing anything earthy. Oh, wow. Look yeah. at that orange spectrum, guys. Beautiful. Who's excited? Beautiful. Oh, Colors of Red Rock Canyon. That's interesting, Sarah. We had some canyon vibes when we were working with these colors too. <laughs> okay, so winter green. And then um, Apothecary. Did you clean that well? Oh, you did. I thought for sure you still had orange on there. Maybe you, a little bit. You're a little wild over here. I am wild. <laughs> so Apothecary, like, do you want to talk a little bit about like uh, if you go over to the blog post, there's like a lot of information there about the feel and like the inspiration behind this collection of inks and stuff. Yeah, we really wanted oh, to uh, goodness bring in some colors that just reminded us of nature, organic, kind of that spicy, you're getting the spicy vibe um, from ginger, terracotta, kind of that clay, natural elements, mm. apricots, think about like face masks and mm -hmm. soothing things. Wintergreen is, you know, a plant. Um, so really trying to dip into the, those earthy, organic, natural elements that you might find in an apothecary. So thinking about that, kind of what that conjures up in your mind and those beautiful colors and the smells. I mean, color is such a sensory experience. I think sometimes you look at a color and you feel like you can taste it. We say that oh, sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes you feel like you can smell it, like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so I love color because it really addresses all of those things. It brings memories to mind that sometimes associate with other senses, which is fun. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes, these colors make your heart happy. I love it. Okay, so pretty. So those are the new spa colors. Yes. <laughs> awesome. I have a card in mind. And then uh, the label, the side labels that they'll come out later. Yep. yep. Those will be available in the summer when yep. the next four colors come out. Awesome. Awesome. You're getting some 70s realness. I love it. Yes. Let's see. I wanted to ink swipe. Um, I feel like I need a new piece of paper. I, I was not prepared for paper. I have scrap paper. Do we have scrap here. paper? Yeah. Okay, that'll be perfect. In my little stash okay. under this. Do you pen. have a lot or a little? No, that was the last oh, piece dear. that appears to be under here. Okay, <laughs> so we got clay mask. I'm gonna do terracotta. Oh, that little piece of paper looks like the thing that the that they spray perfume on for you at the oh, store. Yeah. <laughs> so these I was cutting cardstock down to four by five and a quarter inch layers just so I have a bunch of them on hand. And these are all the little leftovers that I had, all these little pieces. So So yes. our 
our inks are on a foam pad if you are new if you are not new to our inks drop a comment and let us know what your favorite feature is because there's lots of amazing features of our ink pads they are foam pads they are dye water-based ink so they are water reactive they're great for water coloring the foam pad releases ink really easily so you can see how quick and easy it is to make your own colored cardstock um, they stamp really beautifully they're just they're awesome we love them so much do you guys have um, a favorite color Africa look at that it's so pretty <clears throat> yes okay so we do ship globally so if you are outside of the states um, you can order directly from our website um, we do also have uh, some partners, some retail partners around the world who have both uh, brick and mortar as well as online stores. But yes, we do ship everywhere globally from our shop. Sometimes I know folks like to go a little bit more local for various reasons with shipping, um, but there are some options there. But we do, we do mail. We ship all over the world. We do, we get orders in sometimes the shipping staff gets really excited when we get mm -hmm. an order in from a place that we haven't seen before or have never heard of sometimes the staff <laughs> wants to pack themselves up in the and box get in the box and go <laughs> fiji okay yeah <laughs> hawaii that sounds great <laughs> see glass bay breeze japan thank you <laughs> I will pack my bag. Okay, and then Fabry's. Puerto Rico, yes please. I missed polished. Mm -hmm. And I missed Mandarin Spice. Aw, Bonnie says her seven-year-old grandson was stamping with some of her minis yesterday and said to tell us that they are the best. Aw. <laughs> oh, polished. Hello. He has good taste, we see Bonnie. Loving wintergreen. Yes, me too. Wendy Jean, me too. Kimberly, your favorite color is aqua teeny. Mm. They stamp beautifully on the first time. Love that. Kiki, you love the foam pad and saturation flora. We have lots of other, we do have other products coming out with this release for April the 6th. We will be showing those sneaky peeks tomorrow and Friday, revealing all the bundles over on Facebook. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. guys tomorrow and Friday. Be there or be square. Okay. Hello, there they hello. are. Oh, look at those colors. Okay. Spa is your go-to, Sandy. So you're really excited for these new shades. I'm excited to get a little bit more of a full color wheel here. Joanne loves how our inks blend on paper. We are really rounding out this this color wheel. I'm excited about yes. that. Yes. Oh, I think I read that wrong love using them with a blender pen well that's great too make custom colors co uh, markers <clears throat> okay so I was thinking I would just do a card with the little strips yeah strips <gasps> of our colors like oh gosh I just choked myself <laughs> yeah <baby. laughs> let's see if I go light to dark these are Okay, so what do you think about this? This is seven. Should I add any others in here? Because I could add orange peel in. I could add polished in. <clears throat> I can add mandarin spice in. I, I'm kind of liking the seven, but what do you guys think? And then I'm gonna do foam strips and pop up all these guys. Oh, Donna says, I love the colors and love the way they stamp. I switched over to these inks completely. We love to hear that. Donna, that's exciting news. So glad you love them. I don't think I am going to pop those up. No? No. Mm -hmm. So what do we think? <clears throat> you could put a little white in between them and then have them just spaced out. We haven't caught up to say that yet. Okay.
Oh, here we go. Seven. 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 You guys like seven. <laughs> okay. And then I was thinking. Oh, Connie says she can't wait to do some flower pots with those new colors. I love it, Ooh, Connie. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, so I have friend die cut here. I love <laughs> the funky font on this oh, friend. Cute. Yes. Kimberly said a couple of sprig dies and then you're done. Some bling and you're done. Yes. Cute. Okay. I love doing like a fun bold background and then just adding a sentiment. So mm -hmm. like that's definitely um, a great look. And I had gotten out the secondary font, uh, sentiment set that goes with this and it's here somewhere. Oh, I'll find it. <clears throat> there it is. It's here. Okay, so the friend die goes with the best kind of friend stamp set. Yes. Uh, Sorry, Susan. Something funny just happened. Susan, that is exactly what I was thinking of, but I didn't want to explain, so. <laughs> what? what are we doing? We are playing with four brand new apothecary ink colors. <laughs> That's so funny. We, we're like, here they are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the name of the collection is Apothecary. <laughs> they are part of our spa collection, and they'll be hitting our shop next Wednesday, April 6th. If you're a Stamp Nation member, you will be able to shop from Tuesday the 5th. Is that right? The 5th. Yes. Tu yeah, whatever <clears throat> Tuesday is. Tuesday. Oh, Tuesday. yeah. You definitely could glue those strips together, like butt it up against one another, and then uh -huh. cut something out of it, like a word die or something. Ooh. That would be fun. That would be fun. Gorgeous. <laughs> we are having a great time up in here <laughs> with these colors. I wonder if we're gonna have any mm, patterned paper and sequin mixes to go with our new colors. Oh, that would be wonderful, that Erica. That would be such a good idea. Too bad I didn't think about that a good idea. months and months and months ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Speaking of that, when did we pick these colors? I don't know. It takes a long time like to get them a like- A year and a half ago? But it takes a long time to get them formulated just right. It does. Yes. It does. And it takes us um, a long time to put the color collections together. Yes. It takes time. <laughs> you spy a new die on the little clippity doodah we just showed. On the graphic? Mm. Oh. I want to say good eye, but I don't even remember what was in that picture. <laughs> oh. Oh, I see what you see. Farley. Farley's a bird watcher. She sees things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at those colors. <laughs> You're getting a southwestern feel from oh, them? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I get a boho feel from them, so those kind of sometimes are slightly synonymous. And these are really great colors for home decor. So pretty. Daniel is saying he thinks a little sneaky peek of a stamp would be really nice on this card. <laughs> Daniel! <laughs> uh, I know exactly what they're thinking. Is that. I was <clears throat> kind of thinking that um, the large sentiment set, one of those oh. pieces. You can grab it from over there. <clears throat> yeah. Let's see. Okay. So I think friend can just... I want to add it right on here. Let's see if my hand don't worry. I was looking for something. Oh, I see <clears throat> what you're saying. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so I think that goes Because someone there. did say one of those. you needed a spring. That. Yeah. Ooh, I just ripped your package. And then. Like this. You can count on me. Oh, that's okay. You got a friend in me. You got a friend. Hey, it reminds Pam of the desert. <clears throat> it's ironic. Debbie said that this morning. I want to do <clears throat> this guy. Not planned. We're shifting. I'm gonna go that. I'm gonna do that there. 
We are giving into your whims, you guys. Yes. Yeah, we don't always. <laughs> you guys are winner chicken dinners today because we. <clears throat> we're gonna go subtle so that it doesn't take away from the gorgeous colors. That are going on there. I want those to be like they're in the background, but I want them to be the star. Yeah, and our um, brand ambassadors in here stirring up trouble, you uh -oh. guys. <laughs> they're like, oh, I know beautiful things that would go on that card. <laughs> <laughs> Who's giggling in the background? Uh -huh. Susan, Allison, Daniel, and Nancy, Lisa. Okay. Get the heat tool. White embossed piece of foliage. You can see that. It's very it's subtle. We'll go ahead and die cut that. You want to die cut that for me? Sure. And then I'll do the let me um yeah, let's see which order. What order do I want to do? I this didn't in? know what stamp you had there, so I didn't I had the wrong die. Should I do Bay Breeze? Since it's right under the Bay Breeze. Oh yeah, strip. that would look pretty. Okay. I might need a little piece of tape. I might be okay actually. Oh yes, that looks great. There we go. It's Oops. hard because you, it's so light. I'm trying to see what I'm doing here. So, Yeah, you don't know how our brand ambassadors keep the secrets. They're sworn to secrecy. They are. Okay. That was such a subtle bean there. <laughs> Will you take the F and the R and pop on some tape? Yes, absolutely. These letters are great because they're wide enough that you don't have to trim the tape down. Yeah. Sometimes whatever you're doing is just too wide. All right. Love those strips on the background. How did you cut those out? What do you mean? The little strips. So when I had my eight and a half by 11 cardstock and I was cutting them into layers, yeah, um, I just kept the little strips that were left over. Oh, it was just some cutoffs. Yes. Off cuts. Yeah, I like <laughs> to keep a lot of these on hand. So I'll just take an eight, eight and a half by 11 sheets and just cut. Yeah, so it's a card layer, so it's a little bit smaller than the are probably good. Thanks. You're welcome. It's like Christmas, Nancy, because you, you know what's in the packages, but you can't tell exactly. <laughs> <clears throat> I like how this turned out, this little white on white. Very subtle, really super cute, kind of modern and trendy feeling. Joan's got us up on her TV while she cooks. Oh my. <laughs> so she can watch and get things done all at the same nice. time. I love it. Okay, and then the R. 
and the F. Oh, you got the back ends still on. That's gross. Oh, I did, yeah, I didn't fold it sticky at all. Okay. They're almost together now. I love the little end of the R yeah, and that's the N. Cute. It's so cute. <laughs> There. Oh, that's so cute. Friend. Ta da! Yes. Ooh, I want to make more cards. <laughs> that was fun. And then a little bit of foam tape for the back. So, da da da. Bringing all of the foam tape. Everybody's square, everybody's good. Yes, you guys. we're excited. So one more quick recap um, here as we wrap this card up. We are playing with the four new Apothecary ink colors that will be hitting our shop next week, Wednesday, April 6th. They are part of our spa collection of colors, ink colors, they're muted <clears throat> tones. And we'll show those uh, four colors here again in one sec after Catherine wraps up what she's doing. Apricot. Ginger, terracotta, and wintergreen oh, well, she, are the oh, new colors. <laughs> the new ones. There you go. There we go. So be excited. Yeah. We're so excited to be bringing them to you. Um, you know, it's been a while since we've been able to bring some new, well, not too long, but some new spot colors in. And yeah. we love adding to the spot collection, helping round out your mm -hmm. the holes in your I collection. Think last summer. Is what we brought out in yeah, the set. Entry so, tree. so mm -hmm. like being able to kind of fill in some of those gaps mm -hmm. that you see on your color wheel so that you have the colors that you need at your crafty fingertips. Yep. So, so we will be live Thursday and Friday of this week at 10 a.m. on Facebook. Uh, Friday, I'm handing the reins to Erica because mm -hmm. I'll be out of town. And then next week, Monday, Tuesday, we'll be live at noon on Facebook and Wednesday again on YouTube creating with the new collection. So the rest of this week, we're gonna be sharing all the new stuff coming, and then we'll give you lots of creative ideas and inspiration next week, so that when you get your goodies, you will have like ideas, ideas. just like, <laughs> ah! <laughs> and sketch them down. Yes, yes. Get your so, Canva and sketch them yeah, down. So it's gonna be an awesome and creative week, and we're excited to hang out with you guys. Yes. Yeah, all right. Yay, we I love the excitement. You. Yeah, so here you go. There they are, the new Apothecary inks. And remember, a, an additional four will uh, come in the summer. So uh, this is just the first four. Yeah. So you guys have an amazing day. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share, and we will see you again soon.